Welcome to Uniquely Loved, a celebration of authenticity and divine inspiration. We are encouraged to be our own unique, authentic selves. Join me, Tech Witch Nikki, as we discuss spiritual gifts and skills we can develop and enhance, speak with amazing people using their skills in a variety of ways, and explore the different ways to connect to the wonders of the universe. Hello, my loves. I'm going to get a little more personal with you today. Now, many of us have battled some really bad intrusive thoughts. You know, the ones that creep in and tell us that we are unworthy, failing, or even just plain horrible. I know I'm not the only one that has battled these. Mine were so bad. I suffered thoughts of unaliving myself that were constant for years. Yes, I had some attempts. Yes, I've been in counseling and therapy. Yes, I've been on medications. Yes, I have done many things to help cope with my depression, anxiety, PTSD, and more. I have done research, taken classes, and tried many different techniques. I'm going to tell you a few that really worked for me. These techniques are spiritual as well as traditional. Take what fits for you and your situation. When we are in the midst of all of this, it can really feel like our brain is out to get us. When I first began to really awaken to my spirituality, I, I began to feel like I was being attacked by some unknown entity, a threat, someone harmful. And yeah, that can sometimes be a part of it. In my case, I did have someone who had been feeding me many of those thoughts for most of my lifetime. For years, I could feel emotions and energies, and I didn't understand what I was feeling. They weren't coming from me. I numbed it all with alcohol as well. Once I became more aware of the spiritual realms, our guides, and energy, it began to make more sense. I had been growing my spiritual senses without even realizing it. And it was scary until I did the research and connected with my guides to begin the understanding process. My guides let me know what was going on through my tarot and oracle cards, as well as dreams. I had to do research into what can do all that and how to get rid of them. My guides helped, me, helped lead me to articles that I needed to most understand and gain the tools I needed to combat all of this. Now, I am going to preface this by saying not all intrusive thoughts are some entity filling our mind with angst and horrible thoughts. However, it can play a part. In many cases, it can be the issue. They do feed off of the fear, the worry, and other emotions that they help create. How the heck can we deal with this? We are way more powerful than we ever give ourselves credit for. We can do some rituals or spells to sever the ties to them and banish them for good. There are so many out there to choose from and you can modify for your needs. Our guides will help with this. All we have to do is ask. I did an elaborate ritual to handle mine before I could channel energy. My guides helped. Now that I can channel energy and heal on many levels, I help people with a service that I call the Cycle Breaker Cleanse with Energy Healing. Now we can also create some protective barriers around us to keep any away once we have severed those ties. I covered this in my basic protections episode and article. One way is to visualize or sense a protective light around you. Many will choose white. I like a mixture of gold and silver. It symbolizes the energies of the sun and moon. Then you program that barrier to not allow anything that is not in your highest good, especially the emotions and energies of others. I will also put in the rules that this barrier will only be dismissed by me and will not be harmed or destroyed by interacting with people or animals. I would do this every single day. Another way is to create charms, wards, or bless and program your own jewelry or crystals to help protect you throughout the day. Many will carry crystals on them. Black tourmaline, black obsidian, jet, and black onyx are some of the most common for protections. Now, how do we banish? There are so many ways to do this as well. Some will use smoke cleansing rituals, such as burning sage, rosemary, lavender, palo santo, pine, and other herbs, incense, and woods. 
Sound is a wonderful source of cleansing energy as well. Drums, bells, music of any kind, laughter, cleansing, clapping, and more all work. Prayer, chants, poems, and just speaking to them to get the heck out of your home can all work as well. For those who can channel energy, you can use your own energies to cleanse any space. Again, we are more powerful in our own right. When doing any of these, it is common to open a window to ensure that they leave. Now, what do we do when it isn't spiritual? When it is old patterns and thoughts that we learn to survive or get through rough situations? That does happen. I still had some of those intrusive thoughts after I did my cord cutting ritual and banishing. I knew it worked. I felt immediate relief. However, my mind had incorporated those patterns into my narrative. You know that old saying, we believe things if we hear them often enough? That is what happened to me. I had to keep battling those old patterns until they came less and less, essentially shedding the old layers of my old programming. I use several techniques. I go over one in my article, Changing Our Mindset. This is where we write out each thought as it comes and then write a counter statement that proves that thought a lie. Those thoughts are lies and they usually go worst case scenario instead of actually reflecting the truth. Whenever the thought cre creeps in, I would then read that counter statement and redirect my thoughts to something more realistic. It effectively helped me rewire my thinking I did that every single time. They began to flow in less and less. Now I use energy healing to help people do this as well. Another good technique is to visualize that that voice has a face or form. And then talk to it and contradict the things that it says. Basically picture them as someone you don't like. Tell that form or person to leave you the hell alone and never return. Essentially banish it it does work. I asked my guides for the help with all of this, especially when I was still learning. I had a very difficult time visualizing. I thought I had to. We don't. Our intention or our focus is more than enough. A few of them decided to help me do that portion by portraying those thoughts and giving me their form to talk to. It finally got to the point where I would cuss them out and tell them to get the F out of here with all that nonsense. I got bold with it and it works. Another method that helps is to imagine yourself shedding these old patterns, much like a snake shedding its old skin. It takes you through the letting go of it all and makes room for new growth. It is all about us learning our own power. Us learning that we can control these thoughts with practice patience, and consistency. It does take willpower. It does take trial and error and experimentation to find what works for us. It can be one method or even several. There is no wrong way to do this. Growth is uncomfortable. Our old patterns of handling things will try to hang on as our ego wants to keep us safe. But remember, Growth never comes from our comfort zone. We have to challenge our old habits and our old thoughts to make sure that they are aligned with who we are becoming, aligned with who we want to be. Our guides want to help us do all of this. They want to help us grow in all areas of our lives and enrich our experiences here on earth. The articles referenced can be found on the foundational training page of my website, techwitchlayer.com. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions as an energy healer, life coach, and spiritual mentor. I know you can do this. I love you. I support you. I have been there. These are some of the things that helped me. Thank you for joining me today as we explore what makes us uniquely loved. Be sure to subscribe. More adventure awaits. For more articles and to work with me as your personal guide, go to www.techwitchlayer.com. Always remember, you are accepted. You are valid. You are loved.